I'm here with some disturbing and sad information in regards to talk show host and queen of media, Wendy Williams. She recently had a live uh, Instagram interview with Fat Joe on May the 6th, Friday, May the 6th, where she was um, very, it was alarming to say the least. During Wendy's interview with Fat Joe, she was alarmingly, um, I guess to say she could not find the words for anything. She couldn't remember things. Very forgetful. Um, she, her focus was completely off. She was not able to, to focus. In fact, Joe seemed to be trying to co- help cover this up. He would try to snap her out of it and, and get her attention again. Um, he would try to help her find words for things. And um, he was having a lot of trouble. This was live. Uh, Whitney, uh, I'm sorry. Wendy Williams was unaware that this was even a live video and seemed to forget how um, how live works. She ended up asking him um, how many people would see this um, and he had to explain to her that um, what it meant to be live, which is one of the symptoms of dementia. I'll go ahead and break down about um, 10 sim- sim- symptoms or signs of dementia. Memory loss and distortion. People with dementia tend to have problems with short-term memory. They may remember things from long ago but forget what happened this morning. Memory distortions also occur. People with dementia may confuse people in their memories or combine two or more memories. Sometimes they think an old memory is a new one. Memory issues are an early sign of dementia. I will attach a portion of the interview with Fat Joe um, at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned to watch this. Wendy Williams, who is has been on television and in the media for years, did not know that being live on Instagram meant that this was not a conversation between a short group of people only. You'll see in the video where Fat Joe had to explain to her a couple of times how live video works. This is a talk show host, remember that. Loss of vocabulary. As people develop dementia, their communicative ability may deteriorate. They develop problems with vocabulary and must repeatedly hunt for words during a conversation. Over time, some people find communicating difficult enough that they participate less in conversations, hence the hiatus. Also, when you look at the clip of the interview with her, Fat Joe, she cannot find the words for anything and her words become scrambled because she's trying to find the words. Now, if you have a family member who has had a stroke or multiple strokes um, and they start to have issues with finding the words, they know what they want to say, but it's a part of the brain that's affected to where they can't find the words to put together what they're trying to say exactly. Changes in mood and disposition. Now, this is a sign that we would not be able to really see, us the public wouldn't be able to see because again, they keep Wendy so tied up and hidden. She has a group of very sketchy individuals um, in her circle and around her. Hence why Wells Fargo decided to freeze her accounts. Because I believe that they are protecting her. There is clearly, um, there are clearly some very shysty individuals around her. uh, Which makes me side-eye Fat Joe on the side. Because he's actually like verbally dapping these men up and they're just pretty much floating around her and she's sitting here clearly not in her right mind what are their intentions here you will see this in the interview as well these random people um, who seem to be vulturing around her 
faulty reasoning. When dementia advances, people may say and do things that seem irrational or based on faulty logic. For instance, they might bathe with extreme cold water when they are feeling mildly warm and catch a cold. They might stash away things in strange nooks and corners and give strange explanations when asked about their behavior. Check out these videos from us of some of her strange behavior on um, her show. So, well, I get hundreds of calls a day, and we we answer all those calls on the podcast. Hey, 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 Barbara, got it. I'll expect to hear from you tonight. You'll hear from me right after you uh, go back there. Uh, <laughs> to me, to me, we need to use. And I'm good. Hodel, oh, uh, excuse me, Adele. Hodel. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So, Bronwyn, right? She spoke about her alcoholism on the first episode of the season. I can't deal with you. Why? Just because, Baruch, it's so good seeing you. Again. I love you. I love you. So I good, love you. So good seeing you. Again. So good seeing you too. So good seeing you too. But look at this clip. Can I tell you, Bronwyn, when she came out as an alcoholic in the first episode, oh, and then in the most recent episode, she spoke very openly about how she, how nervous she was about having to share the news. This is really sad. Wendy Williams has needed help for a very long time, and they were just propping her up, making her pretty, and profiting off of her, which in turn could have actually accelerated her condition. And now they're pretty much panicking. Um, At this point, they're trying to do everything in their power to prove that Wendy is okay and of of, of sound mind, and she is not, she's not well. And those vultures are out, and they're hungry. Disorientation. Now, if you watch the interview, you will see that she seems to be confused slightly at moments of of what's going on or what's happening. Um, she tends, she seems to think that maybe she's just sitting doing a FaceTime call and had to be reminded that this was not a FaceTime call. Then she brought, she spoke of 
of things as if it was from the past as if if it was the present um if you hear her speaking it's it's really sad you guys trouble with comprehension this is a big 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 alarm with wendy williams listen to the interview she is repeating things over and over and doesn't realize she's already said things um and she has to be pretty much coached on the conversation and is still unable to keep up. Look at this. Read this. Read this. Trouble with comprehension. She was not comprehending well at all in this interview. Balance problems. This is another huge symptom for Wendy Williams. She has issues balancing. If you notice as of lately, she is either being wheeled around in a wheelchair or she has to basically be lean on someone. She has to uh, be arm in arm with someone because she's unable to stand on her own. There are no recent video footage of Wendy walking on her own without being either pushed in a wheelchair or she has to be leaning on another person's arm or supported by another person. Lack of self-care tendencies. Now, this is a a symptom here that we would not be able to see uh, as the public, but those close to her, yes. Um, This is something they would know and, again, continue to try and hide. If you do look, it appears that she is just propped up. Um, Someone throws makeup on her and they prop her up for these uh, these rare sightings and interviews. Change in appetite and eating habits. Wendy has always been a curvy woman. Um, And then it seems... Out of nowhere, she started to drastically lose weight and blamed it on her Graves' disease. Now, I cannot confirm or deny any of her health information, um, but this is also, coincidentally, a symptom of dementia. Loss of social skills. Impaired judgment causes loss of social skills in people with dementia. They may behave and speak inappropriately in the company of others, often offending or even frightening other people. If you remember, there were reports of Wendy Williams randomly stripping down naked in a room full of her staff and masturbating. This was reports from her own staff members and people of the Wendy Williams show. I honestly feel like Wendy is in trouble. And Wells Fargo seem to be right in what they're doing and protecting her. Wendy Williams' own manager has been using her credit cards to pay for attorneys for himself, among other things. He was appointed to her by who knows who, um, after her leaving, or her husband left her after her separating from her marriage. As dog ass as he might be, Kevin Hunter isn't looking so bad right now. He may have been using her funds to fund his side jank, uh, but he was also keeping the vultures and scammers away at the same time. Ever since the Halloween episode where Wendy Williams collapsed on stage where she had a mini stroke um, and they covered that up by saying that she was exhausted and, because her costume was too hot and fell out. Look at how she responds as she's collapsing. This is a person who's having a stroke. I've seen this many times. I've actually witnessed people having strokes with my own two eyes in my face. This is the symptom. This is exactly how they react. You don't react like this from heat exhaustion. This is the brain being attacked. It's a brain attack. 
Wendy has been having small um, strokes ever since, each one affecting her brain more and more, which is how she has come into dementia, which will worsen and worsen over time. Wendy is currently in the early to moderate stage of dementia. She has people around her that pretty much are using her and draining her. You have to think about it. Also, these people appointed to take care of her account and her millions of dollars also record her account behaviors. And it's clear that her accounts, her bank accounts have been drained and they are aware of what's going on. These people have to meet, had to meet with her. And after meeting with her, they even saw that she clearly was not of sound mind and could not make decisions for herself. And they were able to then realize, hey, she's being robbed and doesn't know it. I'm going to go ahead and leave this video clip of when she passed out on stage and with the Statue of Liberty costume on. You can see where she's grabbing at her head. That's where the attack is coming from. That's where the stroke is. When people have strokes, usually that's the first thing they may do is grab their head. Um, you can see that's what she's doing here. I'm also going to leave uh, part of the Fat Joe live interview she recently did which was May the 6th um, you can go ahead and check that out as well and just take a look at her behaviors compared to before uh, she started having all of these health issues uh, associated with her drinking as well. costume contest we do it every year so it's a lot of fun let's get started our first caress The Dawn herself, Wendy Williams, is in the building. Hey! Hey, oh, Wendy! <laughs> yes. Um, it's been a while since we've seen our record from you. Well, I'm at my apartment. Get in your apartment. Um, Look around. It's been a while, Wendy, and we all miss you on TV. And me, Remy, thank you for letting us host the show. Yes. Well, you know, I, I love I love everyone hosting it, but I have to say, if I only wanted one person, I wish you only did that always. And then I come back, and whenever I want to, you know, fly away someplace else for a little while, and you do it again. I love you two, or just her, or just you. By the way, <laughs> Wendy. You definitely, uh, so I saw you, I'm not gonna lie, I seen you out the other night with Jason Lee at the Met Gala uh, after parties, and I said, I gotta have you on the show. Well, I didn't see anybody, but you know who this is? This is Joan Rivers, you know who that is? Yes. Well, she gave this to me. I used to go to her apartment just by myself after doing the Wendy Williams show. And I go over there, and we would curse like the dog. And so he goes, "Here, have it." And she threw it to me. He said, "Now go home." <laughs> That's Joe Rivers is a legend. All what? right, so Wendy, listen, Wendy. So we get you looking beautiful. Look into it. There's so many. Come here, Wendy. Uh -huh. There's so many rumors about why you're not in the show. There was a big rumor saying Alzheimer's, that you forget it, you forget and stuff. And could you clear that up for the people? Because you got huge fans. Oh. They want to know. I don't mind talking about this, you know. I was in Miami, and then I found out that my money was, was um, I don't want to talk too much about that, but let's just say I know what kind of money I have. Unfortunately, I only have $2 and nothing else. Everything is um, frozen. And um, the some people are involved with this. And so that's what I'm doing right now. 
You know, Wendy, I'm trying to say, is it people you trusted that yep. spread the rumor of the Alzheimer's so they could take your money? Is this a money grab? No, people say things like that. that like, maybe I went because I have villain edema. I told you about my, about my feet. Um, people say, well, uh, I just am ready to go. And where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I told you. When they, when they froze my money and stopped it, they froze my son. Uh, stuff, and we talked about it. I don't want to talk too much about it because I know that a lot of people, how many people will know what you and I are talking about? I mean, everybody's on here with you. So whatever you say, they gonna, they gonna run with it. So this ain't like a private, cause, cause Wendy calls me privately and talks to me about things. And so, uh, and so, you know, but it's private. But but now we're doing this. This is an interview type of thing, Wendy. Whatever you say, everybody's tuned in. Um, by the way, Joan Rivers also gave this to me. This is a very, very, she was wearing this um, when she was like somewhere. And she had it at her apartment. And I said, wow. I said, do you mind if I, because I'm not going to wear that because, you know, you're, you know, uh, I don't want to wear that. She goes, you, you know, I don't want to curse to you. But look, this is what, yeah, John Rivers. I love it. Let me, let me ask you a question, Wendy. Uh, so did you take a break from the show or did you agree to just leave? Uh, um, why did you just get up and leave? Did, uh, was it like a takeover or what? Oh, no. Somebody stopped giving me my money. Somebody stopped giving me my American Express. Somebody stopped. I have no money. Fortunately, this place where I'm living in, I love that my cats are here, you know, and nobody else. I got some other people here because I tell them to come over. By the way, see this right here? He gave that to me. He died. Wow. Never even look, it's still on. I never did it myself. See, I love stuff like this. Good, right? So, so you definitely um so how do you pay your bills if you're saying they froze your money, you can't do the show because you can't get paid. You can't so how are you paying your bills, Wendy? Well, I know some people who give me money to for things like, I want the essential things, like um, I want to go out to a restaurant or I want to come over to your place, you know, uh, or I want to go over to whoever, you know what I'm saying? Madonna, if I want if I want Madonna to come over here, if I want um, anybody, you know what I'm saying? But it really is about my, because my family, if, if I don't have my money, then that means that I don't, that I can't do what I always do. Do, I had a lot of money, not as much as you. No, no, you got a lot of money. You might have more money than me. <laughs> um, and and so, because you've been killing them for so many years on TV, number one TV show. Do you do you miss not coming to the show? Yes, I do. I wish I was there. I wish I was there right now and we talk about it and talk about it with you. But you know what? Because. Um, they already put people there like you. You guys are already in position. So you'll be talking about that. But I'm glad that I'm able to talk about when I come back, you know? Okay, so is there plans for a new show or are you coming back to the Wendy Williams show? Coming back to the Wendy Williams show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Because I'm going to be talking about Sherry Shepard Taking over the show of a, a, a new what? But I won't be watching her because I know what she's going to be doing, and that's really not my thing. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, anyway. But I love, I love being on my own show, and I love that people love to watch it. You know, all the time. So. Uh, rest in peace to a gentleman he just passed yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Samuel, just a gentleman, Kevin Samuel. Have you ever heard of him? This guy, he gives like relationship advice and stuff. If you struggle to lose weight, God bless, rest in peace. Uh, and he always giving this uh, 
advice to the ladies and to the guys or whatever the case may be. Um, you have went to Miami for a minute with your family, huh? I can't, I don't even know who that is, but that's what I'm talking about. I'm very, I'm very, um, I am very um, soft and, and very, I'm, uh, I mean, you know this, but everyone doesn't know. I'm quite lovely. You know, I'm a real special girl. And I, 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 um, always, you know, I laugh and then I have to go home. You know, or I don't want you to come over to my apartment, but I want you to come over to their apartment. Or, you know what I'm saying? See, did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? Yeah, some, some guy named Kevin Samuels, he's big on YouTube and all that. He always gives advice. He's, He's a good, he was a cool dude, an interesting dude. I would I would think you know him because you know Jason Lee, you know everybody, yeah. you know him and um what, what, what's that like Jason Lee? He's the only guy that gets you to come outside. I did I no, no. Let's talk about something else. Um, so can I please tell you about these people right here? Because by the way, you might want to call after, you know, later on, okay? Now, okay. okay, you come here first. Come here first. Introduce yourself. Here's a man here, and he went to, well, tell us. Do you do? What's up, brother? What's up, my brother? How you doing? Remember me, Kel, from Atlantic Days? Yeah, I do remember you from the Atlantic Days. How you been? Man, killing, grinding. So you taking care of my girl over there? Absolutely. Yeah. In a different kind of way. In a different kind of way. Yeah, man. He's got so much, he's got so much money. I don't know which one has more money than, than you. <laughs> Seriously. It's just good seeing you, man. Proud, proud of everything you've done. You're the hardest working dude out of jail. What's up, my brother? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. We go back to Lexington Ave days. That's right, that's right. It's safe to say, Wendy ain't hiding nowhere. She got a house for me, huh? You remember GX, y'all bless them. Recipes, Gerard. I know you got no feet.
know what's up. with a lot of money. 